what am I doing? What am I gonna make? And uh, how am I gonna start it if I already know what I wanna make? So uh, I think about how I'm gonna sketch it out, where I'm gonna lay it out, and just how I wanna fill up the page. If I'm working on something uh, realistic and I decided to do an incredible amount of detail in it and I know that there's a lot of steps that I have to take and then that, that it's gonna take me a long time to finish that's usually when I feel like uh, it, it might never actually get there that's one of my bad habits is that I never finish well I don't want to say never finish but a lot of the times I haven't finished sometimes I just kind of lost my passion for it or I lost my interest in it or I have too many projects that I'm doing at once, and so there's going to be a few of them that I forget about. I have many artworks that I haven't touched in 20 years, and they're still half done. When I work, I get, okay, I get really bored sometimes, or I get frustrated with a single piece. So I have many pieces that I'm working on in rotation, so that if I'm working on something, and I'm starting to burn out with it, I'll move on to something else. And what that does for me is that it, it switches my gears and I feel a little bit more refreshed because I'm thinking in a different way and I'm, I'm going down a different avenue so that when I do come back to the original piece, I may have a brand new idea for it or renewed energy. So I have to have many things going on at the same time. Being a teacher means you have no time for anything because when you go home, the work that you're doing is for, for teaching. And if you're married or, or have children, you have to spend time with them. So getting anything done is impossible. If I'm in the middle of something and I feel like it's going in the wrong direction and I figure out how to change it, I will change it. Um, sometimes it's a minor change. Sometimes I have to ball it up, throw it in the trash, and start again, and that happens a lot. You have to do it in, in baby steps. You have to go step by step by step. It's good, to have an, to, it's good to have a visual of what the end result may look like, but don't just focus on that because thinking of the end result makes it seem impossible. But if you scale it back and you just start from the beginning and figure out how to make it piece by piece, then it seems way more possible to accomplish.